What's up, y'all? It's Saturday. I hope you are well. I printed out some images and I also shared it on my Instagram. A underscore risen underscore you. I am also very leery of who I let follow me too because I do. That's more of like a personal account as well as my planner account. So if you have like no profile picture or you don't really post I'm kind of not going to let you follow me for my own protection but I posted these on my Instagram um, they're just from Pinterest I just arranged them so if you want to like screenshot it and print it yourself you can what I really wanted them for was for over here in my week wait yeah, my newer week that I'm gonna, this is my last week in this book coming up. And I normally put like, a, you know, something like a picture over here, kind of motivational. So I thought to do that. I'm also just gonna do just random stuff um, in these three books. So it says, take heart, don't quit. Don't quit. Stay with God. And again, um, you can go to Pinterest and just put in um, scripture. It comes right up. Or scripture images. Also, um, again, if you don't have a printer, I've, print, I've uh, did a uh, video on what you could do to pretty up your planner. Um, this is not just the only way you can do that kind of stuff. So I'm just getting a smaller little Asian diary deco sticker. And I'm trying to take it off and it won't. <laughs> These are kind of thinner like little rice paper stickers. Just gonna put her down right so. And then that kind of sums up this upcoming week. So what we're gonna do is kind of do a somewhat of a little plan with me. I'm just going to write down the stuff I want to track this upcoming week. It's always going to be whether I spent money, like planner money, film. I do like the sit and quiet. Um, these episodes have been few and far between. I was having um, like episodes when I would film <laughs> and it, it was more like anxiety, anxiety based and you know, just talking too fast, maybe standing and hovering over the tripod versus sitting. Now that I'm sitting, I feel better, but I'm trying to not get super excited because that's when I find that I get dizzy or lightheaded. So I am going to still track those. So I just call them episodes. Um, down in my home section, it's kind of Mainly the same, I want to know when I do Instacart, when I make dinner, when I bathe Sophia, and then um, mainly like when I wash her hair, or actually no, when I bathe her. I, I, I guess last week, or this past week, or the week that I'm in rather, I have been, um, I wash her body every single day, but I don't do her hair every single day. So I try to do wash days every two or three days. So I think I'm going to still write the bath Sophia, but maybe just check off when I wash her hair. So victories and defeats this week I've been doing if I'm productive, <coughs> affectionate, compassionate to myself, and faith over fear. I still like those, and I'm probably going to add those over there. So if I'm productive affectionate I can't write compassionate if I have faith over fear versus you know panic <laughs> immediately like you know I consider that a victory a defeat um, I like to track when I'm anxious when I'm sad when I'm mad when I'm in panic when I'm irritated 
I will also track up here when I let go of stuff and I forgive quickly. That's mainly like with my husband, honestly. Like today, he said something and I felt like it was kind of like popping my bubble, you know? And I kind of got irritated, I got offended. But I noticed in, at the like, what offense is. Offense is a stumbling block to your walk in the, in the Lord. So I knew that immediately. So when he talked to me, he was like, honey, I didn't mean to like offend you or, and that key word of him saying offend was like, okay, Monique, you need to let this go. Choose your battles, forgive him. He didn't. And so I was able to do that. And so I will totally, um, I didn't have it down here, but you know, I used to track, let go because I can be very compulsive with that. So it looks kind of, <laughs> I wrote really quickly, but that's that. These are my journaling pages. This is what my journaling pages look like now. My health pages, which are come next, they um, were different this week. I was also, um, I was actually wa uh, writing down my own letter as if God was speaking to me directly without reading my devotion notes. So I would wake up and just write. So like today, I said, today will be what you make it, Monique. I will never leave your side. Remember the strength you have in me. I will give up. I will give up all the guidance. Well, I will give you <laughs> all the guidance you need. Um, all you need to do is hold my hand. So it's just like a really nice, like, I don't know, reminder. So that's those. And then here goes my soap study pages. So again, that's my quick version of a Bible study. So these are my soap study pages for the past week. I haven't done today's, um, but that's yesterday's. So I have these two left for this week. Then comes my brain dump pages. So I have slowly been migrating stuff. Um, some of the stuff that's highlighted, uh, I kind of go through that and my dailies and then start putting them over to my next week. For the weekend, I have like notes and just certain things that I want to remember. So I would slowly creep those into my dailies. But before I get to my dailies, I have my week. So I have a lot of things going on here. Um, so I will... I did move over my tab, if you can't see, and then all of my weeklies are tabbed down here. So I know that this purple one will take me to the prior week when I'm sitting over here. So um, I already called the doctor on Friday. No COVID, praise God. So clean downstairs. So Dr. Fuentes needs to be highlighted. I still need to call him. He is the doctor for my implant. I still want some leggings, underwear, bras, holiday dashes. So I'm gonna cut, I need to pick up the cleaners. So over here, I'm gonna put holiday dashes, bras, leggings. So Thanksgiving break is what my son is gonna have. And then Sophia has speech. Um, I don't know about my goals. <sighs> Let's see, I will definitely focus on my breathing. I want to have walk walks with Sophia. Um, oh my gosh, my reading. Also my bike and treadmill fall off to the wayside. So fridge vacuum, dust, mop, and sweep. Those are like the big ticket items for the week. I'm not gonna take, I'm not going to like write all this over here. I'm gonna get with my family this weekend and see which ones they want. I didn't really cook from here this week. We had some bomb spaghetti I made. <laughs> We had rice and veggies, we had a free night, we had jackfruit tacos, and then another free night. So I didn't even really get to cook from here. So this weekend, well tonight I might try the vegan stir fry and a vegan shepherd's pie, but we'll see. 
So after my week are my days. So these are the days. And then here we are on Saturday. So I'm going to write right here, maybe like a vegan stir fry as an idea. And then obviously here are my days for next week. I just kind of decorated them this morning. So then after this week will be completely done. So I have a little bit left in my journaling. I have that page. I have like four or five pages left. My commonplace book is probably going to be one I'm not going to completely fill. Like here I am right here and I've got about maybe 20 more pages and I do have some plans but then that's when this comes in so I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, my food just fell to the wayside. I haven't really been tracking. I tracked yesterday. I stopped using these inserts so... I don't have any more room, so if I do want to log my food, uh-oh, I glued this together. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, Monique. Why did you glue it? I must have messed up. I don't know. But I'm going to put my food down here too. Even, this, the, even though this tab indicates my commonplace, I'm going to put my food in case I want to do that. So my journaling, um, it's been good. I've allowed, as a quick flip, I've allowed myself to put images. Um, I've allowed myself to just really go hard for what I wanted to say. Um, and it's been really nice. Some days I do two or three pages. Sometimes I do four. This is this morning. I've done four. Um, so definitely keep in my journal. So that's this book. This is my main book. It's gotten really, really big. So, and my, no, let's go here first. This is the book I, I cut down yesterday, if you saw my video. And I don't know what I want to do in terms of my commonplace book for December because I want this book to kind of be like December dailies and advent. Um... I mean, but there's a lot of pages. So I figure if I do commonplace book and Advent scripture and then my, you know, December dailies, my inspiration prompts, if I fill the whole book up, I will definitely start using this for a commonplace book. Like right now, it's just some stuff I wrote out this morning on the Ten Commandments. And I basically copied this right here is basically this. So I was just copying that. Um, I don't know what I want to use this for. But I have it with me and I've been liking to carry it. So we shall see. I also have these. And these that I cut. So these are some December ones. And I already added my scripture plan. And I'll show you this image, the one with, hold on, let me just cut really quick. I should have cut before, but whatever. Totally didn't. Again, Pinterest. Um, so this image right here is so cute. It said Santa. I don't believe in Santa. So I put Jesus. Um, how I put Jesus is I basically put the image in my Instagram stories and then I just wrote on it and then screenshotted it and printed it out. So I have a bunch. I'm going to just move this. My daughter is outside with my husband and they're playing and she's been starting to get the sniffles today and last night and I'm like, Oh, everybody has all the sniffles and the allergies, which sucks. So, oh, I also put this here. A friend, Nancy, gave me a lot of vinyls. And I put that there. <laughs> and this one here. I, I don't know. I was just vinyl crazy and I liked it. So, these images I kind of use for, like here. This is the first week in my... Um, uh, set up 
Let me just, if you haven't seen it, I'll walk you through it for a minute. So I did write out my scripture study, which is this one, Joy Inexpressible by Illu's Corner. So that's that one. Habit Tracker, Journaling, Devotion. So I always put an image there and I always put an image on my Sunday, on my dailies here. So I haven't done that yet. And since it's Christmas, I may just use this one. But then it's going to cover my week. Maybe I'll put it down here. I usually put it right here, but I have the weekend right there. Yeah. So I, I mean, I feel like it just adds a little something extra. And this glue... It's not cute. So on my dailies, um, I was kind of decorating them. I put this here because these are like from a sticker book. You know, Christmas caroling, decorate cookies, hang your advent calendar. You know, just stuff you can start putting on your dailies. They're not all the way done, but I just have them like so. Dion, well, I'm going to find my next set of dailies or my next set of health pages. That one will go there. And I have them just tabbed out with like, or marked out with some little post-its so I know where they are. Brain dump, weekly, and then here starts my dailies. So I'm just going to find Sunday. Mm -hmm. So that's Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday, and I'll just put an image there. So I'm just going to kind of put these in here like this and my next habit tracker one, when I paste my habit tracker down, I already know that that's the next set of pages. So, or where I want to put some images. So I have one more week, like I said, in my main planner and then uh, for November and then here comes December. So as you can see on my health and food log and all that, I, I only sticked in two pages because if I don't like it in December, I'm gonna, or starting Monday, I will start just freehanding my days like I used to always do. It would seem to work. Sometimes when I start to change things up too much, then I won't use it. So that's kind of what happened with that one. And then here's my normal journaling. I got this from Red Lyrics. She uh, sent that with an order. And then um, my commonplace, my December dailies, and then my monthly. So I've got my ruler ready to go. This book is totally ready to go. Um, I don't know if I'll put this anywhere because I like to have the scripture in two places. Uh, so I'll just kind of let it chill right there. So anyhow, that is what I wanted to show with, share with you guys today. Um, this is becoming a big chunky monkey. My memories are almost full. Um, it's been a very nice, pretty journey. Let me get my other ones out so I could show you what that looked like for the year. kind of have them in here um it's just in a cute little I don't know basket so when my a5 is done I'll probably just stick it in here like so or whatever so this one no this one goes first if we're gonna put it in order um, kind of goes like that. So this is, um, February, no, March. Yeah. February, March, April. B6 slim size. This is just a Jibun Techo cover. Someone asked me about that. And then here is May, June and the start of July. And then here's my August and September in a Moleskine. Right? 
And then here is my October in this big old uh, Nanami, 480 pages. I filled this up in a month. So once you get your system kind of right, it's kind of like, oh, oh, I forgot one. So when this book was March, May, June, and the start of July, I finished off July in this insert. So um, this is when I made the decision to start doing my health pages, which is my spiritual health, my soap study. And then when I would log my food, I would put it back here. So it basically was, I used this as a commonplace book at first. And then I had just like a daily page and then I started. It was like my week, my tracker, my journaling, my days. So obviously it evolved. What is that sound? Oh, my phone. So it'll go like so. <laughs> So those are my books. I can't wait for 2021 because that means I will have 12 of these all for all of next year. So this year, it's basically all of these because I, you know, combined months, several months. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six books for the year. I'm pretty excited, y'all. I'm pretty excited about that. God bless you guys.